All right, welcome back everyone. Today we have a quick tutorial on how to customize an old cap. We're gonna be showing you how to install a golf clasp. And you can do this to a snapback, to any sort of strap back that you have. It's super simple and easy to do. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, so first you're gonna to want to take a de-threader and de-thread this back part along the plastic. And the easiest way I find to do this is to go from the back side because you're gonna you're gonna to you're gonna want to de-thread all the way up the sweatband. Usually once you get that top part of this thread on the sweatband done, you can generally just pull it through the plastic. Keep it just like that, and take off those little threads, and then do the same thing to the other side. for another hat or get rid of it or do whatever you want with it. So now that you have this, you're going to want to sew off one side completely. So we'll, we'll pick this side, you can pick whatever side you want. I generally pick the right side of the hat if you're looking at it from the back. And then sew that closed and make sure you get a nice stitch all the way up and back and forth over that swap band to keep the lock. Trim up all these little threads and you can do that, you can do that later after. Clean it up a little bit. But now, you're going to want to um, with this kit, you can. This is available at capsupplyco.com, and it either comes with a black leather strap or a brown leather strap, and then it comes with an oval eyelet, and then your attachments for your golf clasp. So what you're going to want to do is take your whatever color you order. We're going to go with brown for this one, and put it in. You can either put it all the way at the bottom or in the middle. I like to go in the middle, but wherever you put it, you're gonna, gonna wanna make sure you line your clasp up on the other side. And then just put that in there. And we centered ours, so then you just go and stitch that on. And this leather is really easy to work with, so you don't need, you don't need a walking foot. That is it for the first part. And then we'll show you how to install this clasp in just a second. All right, for the next part, you're gonna wanna have a hole punch. If you have one, if not, you can just trim a little bit with the scissors. And then you're gonna want to have your die set. And this goes in the top. And this will feed through the bottom. We already punched our hole, so you just pop that through your bottom and make sure you have it centered with your leather so that way when the strap goes across it's going to be nice and even and not be offset. So you take your die and if you're using this press um, these dies are available pretty much all over online and they're, they fit this. They fit mostly any press you're going to buy on the market. So then you're going to take that Pop it in there like that. Center it up and just press it. And then that right there is your main part, your attachment. So your buckle clasp will pop onto there. And 
then you just feed your leather through. Before we go any more, we're gonna put, show you how to, to put the oval eyelet in. <clears throat> so, actually, we're gonna take that out. And from here, you just wanna have little scissors. I mean, you can, get a, you can get a punch for this. We have one, but we're just gonna show you how to do this way. You don't wanna cut through the sweatband on this part. You wanna grab your fabric right behind the sweatband and make a slit that's gonna line up with that, with the strip. So we're just gonna eyeball this and make it quick. Cut your little slit. Throw your vent in there. And it's easy to lay it on the table. As long as you it's gonna take a little work to get that around. And then you take your back piece, throw that over. There might be a little extra fabric in there, but that's fine because you can snip that afterwards. And then once you have it at that point, you can take flathead and just pry those edges down and there is a die press available for these to make it easier they're a little hard to find for the right size and they usually take a while to get shipped but if you're gonna be doing a lot of these you're gonna want to look into it if you're just doing a few this is the fastest way to do it without buying a bunch of stuff you can trim that up and And there you have it, that's, that's it. That's all it takes to change your hat into a golf class hat. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. And if you're looking for any supplies, visit capsupplyco.com. You'll find anything you need to make a cap from scratch or customize your caps. And yeah, thanks again for watching. See you next time.